Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we are back with a 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil game. Today we're going to do a series with Chinese Taipei, or Taiwan if you want to call it that. It's probably called Taiwan, but the game calls it Chinese Taipei. Um, we're going to do a whole series on it as voted by you guys, so let's get straight into this. They're a half-star team, they're ranked 176th in the world, and their stats are not incredible. Um, but the great thing about this mode is that you can train players up to be better and you've got the preliminary rounds, you've got friendlies and stuff like that. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. We'll do a custom one. Um, it's got me against the Philippines. So I get yeah, yeah, we'll go against the Philippines for our start match. Just to say as well, the game is on world class. You can see it just on the bottom there. And our first match of the whole tournament video, whatever you want to call it, is against Thailand. So, um, basically there's no training sessions, it's just literally um, Nia versus Thailand. So this is basically a game that we need to do that sort of like fleshes out the team, see who's the good players, see who's the bad players, stuff like that. I'm not really sure how good uh, Taiwan are in real life. I mean, I'm not, I've never seen him play football. Um, my match with the Philippines is going to be a big one in terms of um, the whole video because obviously I need to win that game to advance. And um, the Philippines, I'd say, might be, might be. I, I mean, they're the same star level, but they're slightly better. All right, so what we need to do this game is just a friendly match to find out who is the best player on our team and who uh, stays on the squad and who is leaving the squad. You know, it's just a test. It can be quite hard to defend with a half-star team on this game, especially because the ball and the physics, I've talked about it in the past so many times, it doesn't really help you. But it's still a solid game. But like 2010's ball control and stuff is just far superior for me. And they almost score and they're about to score. Yes, they have, but it was offside, thankfully. I mean, it doesn't matter too much as a friendly, but um, it would be great to win this friendly because obviously you've got form on this game and good form equals better results. I'm excited to be doing a qualification run with Tyran on this game. It's been a little while since I've done a qualification run. I think the last one we did was Zambia and that was relatively successful. Crossed in, that's a bri brilliant ball and a great save from the keeper. That could have easily been 1-0 to Thailand. Just need to weave our way past this tough defence of Thailand's. It's quite difficult though. I got the ball here though. Oh, straight away, they snatch it away from me. So hard time and our first match is still at nil-nil. Not bad. I'd say that's not really too bad for uh, Taiwan. Um, Thailand, of course, are slightly better than them. Only by a little bit, I'd say. But I haven't had too many chances on my end. No. Oh, thank God that other defender, well, player, sorry, was in the way. Otherwise, that would have snuck its way into the bottom corner. I think we got this. Yeah, we have. Nice. A through ball here, please, 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 please. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he's not really that fast. No, he's not. The, the ball control from uh, Taiwan is just not amazing. Defending is just a little bit poor from me. It always has been on this game. And um, they're going to score that. Oh, that's a sitter. Thailand missed an absolute sitter right in front of goal. They've had six shots. I've had nothing in this game. So the strikers for uh, Taiwan, not really getting the service from midfield. Yeah, well, there we go. A little bit boring, I'd say. A little bit boring, but baby steps. We always start with baby steps, especially with half-star teams, and drawing against Thailand for um, Taiwan is not actually that bad, to be fair. So I'll take it. I guess our first training drill should be pace. Because a lot of people tell me that if you have great pace, obviously you can catch up attackers and stuff like that. And you can sprint past defenders a lot easier. So that's what I'm going to do in this one. I'm just going to do pace. So we did the pace one and some of them got like basically bang average results. Some of them, well one person got really good results. So that's not too bad. And uh, our next match I think is against Cambodia. So uh, another team that's about half star. So we should be very competitive in this match or at least beating this side. A few of our players have, are on form but it's really difficult to get 50 rated players 
to be better than they are. Second friendly match is against Cambodia and this should be a good one. I hope it is anyway. Like, please be competitive. Please be a decent team. Um, the pace drill might have helped a few players out a little bit. It's a shame that you can't like work on uh, multiple players rather than just four players because literally then you've got a little bit of an imbalance on the team because if you're training just four players every time you're gonna get um, some teams that are basically imbalanced. I noticed as well at the top uh, during the pre-match uh, warm-up sort of thing it said in the stadium South America in the banners which um, yeah great um, continuity there, EA. I gave away a foul on the edge of the box. What are they going to do here? Please don't score over the bar. Oh, someone's injured. Well, I was going through then as well, and then th there was an injury to Cambodia. So that's a bit unfortunate for them. I see someone there. That's a decent ball. And tripped over. Okay, we got a chance. Oh, that was so unlucky. That th It was lucky that the defender fell over. Uh, but the chance was squandered. We really should have probably put that away. Through ball here, come on. That's got to be onside, right? Oh, you got to be kidding me. That was literally, like, on the line, I expect. Yeah, it actually was. Like, come on. Over the top. Can we get there? That's not a bad ball. Can we get there, though? Oh, that touch was horrible. I feel like I'm better than Cambodia. I feel like I'm actually better. Like, not by much, but I feel like I'm better. Oh, damn it, I tried to like go through and it's so frustratingly hard to like deal with the computer on this game rather than 2010. I've said it a load of times, like, I don't really need to go straight into it or whatever. We should be beating this side. I feel like we should. Here we go, golden opportunity for Taiwan and they scored finally! Yes, Lo Chi N or whatever, however you say it. And it's 1-0 to Taiwan. Nice one, that's brilliant. Good, good goal. It took so long for us to get that goal, but that little through ball there, and if we had just touched it a little bit more, it would have been the goalkeepers. But thankfully, we tap it in, and that's our first goal of the campaign. I know it's a friendly match, and it doesn't really matter too much, but it actually does a little bit. Like, it matters more than you think, because of the form and everything. Spread into the box, and that was a horrendous horrendous shot should have been more power on it the move was good i don't know why we didn't finish that off every pass i do is like pretty much offside by like slim margins oh that's a beautiful ball what the hell cambodia just scored a really really good goal my defense were literally nowhere where were they and look at this look it's not offside, but there's a massive gap in the middle there, and he lost his man, and they all pushed up. Why did you all push up? Where's the shape of this team? And look at that. That, that is actually, for a team like Cambodia, that is a world-class goal. Really bad defending, but that is a really nice goal for them. And we're back at 1-1. Go for the shot. Go for it. Oh, that was a brilliant save by the Cambodian keeper. And this friendly match has been quite exciting, to be fair. The first one was quite boring, and I figured maybe we'll continue the trend of uh, drawing matches and stuff. But this one has actually been quite entertaining. Shot. Oh, that was going in. 100%. But it was a great save, again, by the Cambodian keeper. Cross it in. Go for the header. Oh, there was a guy on the line. Well, I mean, we got a goal in that one. But we also conceded one as well, so I don't know how that's going to affect the form. I feel like, personally, we should have won that game. The goal that we conceded, I felt was quite cheap. My defence pushed forward. It was a really good goal for Cambodia on their side. Like, it was pretty much like world-class vision from the centre-back. But, um, from our point of view, it was a really bad goal to concede. Right, we've got a passing drill now. I feel like my passing just needs to improve. I think pace and passing for smaller teams is the order of the day, I think. Shooting isn't that bad. Um, I feel like the Cambodian keeper was just like literally on one, so we'll leave shooting for now. But we completed that passing one and most of the players got over the um, required result. We got another international friendly. This time it's against Samoa, so we're playing teams that are basically on our level. We got good form. 
at the moment. So I feel like personally we should be beating Samoa, especially at home. I want to beat a team and this is a great opportunity for us to win the game. We're back in Taiwan for this one against Samoa. Now this one, I want to win it. I want to win it big time. Like maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe like by two goals or something. I think that would be kind of uh, respectable. I feel like the team is slightly getting better, but I don't know how Samoa play. But I'm under the impression that they're not as good as uh, Taiwan. Again, tackle twice. Like, these players, like, their handling on the ball isn't amazing. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be. But I'm, I'm in control. <laughs> so I don't know why, like, I struggled there. And we're against a team of similar star level. It's not like I'm playing Spain or anything like that. I'm not the start I wanted in the first 30 minutes. We kind of struggled to push for on goal. Samoa are a little bit negative in terms of their football. They are just sitting back and just hoping that they can grind out a draw. Can we find someone in the box? We have. That's a decent ball and it's a goal. Nice one. It came off the player. It doesn't matter. And Victor Chu scores. Is that how you, how you say it? I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I'm saying these names wrong. But that was actually a really, really, well, I was lucky that the move into the box was really good because Samoa just weren't really there. So we're winning 1-0 against Samoa. Um, I really, really wanted to score in this first half and we have. So it was a bit lucky, you know, a bit of a deflection, but it's fine. Here we go. We got another chance here. Um, that was a bit weird. Why did the game do that? Well, that could have been easier than what it was. We made it really, really difficult for ourselves to actually go for on goal there. I think we just need one more goal in this match to settle it. We can't have any bad plays. I don't think Samoa have actually gone for on goal yet, which is um, really good for us. Samoa just cut it out quicker than... Oh, that's actually a really good chance and we stole it and scored. That's what we need in this gameplay. Plays like that. Absolutely incredible from Taiwan there. To steal the ball off of Samoa here and then just to slot the ball underneath the keeper is elite. So we're 2-0 up now against Samoa and this is what I wanted. Just um, a multiple goal scoring game. Crossed in. Headed away though. Good. Header. No. Come on. Get rid of it. We want a clean sheet in this match at least. Come on. Get in front of him. Oh, that was so close. Come on. We can't have the defence. Um, making plays like that, we can't make them go out of form. And there we go, just how I predicted at the start of the match, I wanted a 2-0 win, and I got my 2-0 win. And Taiwan now have been unbeaten in friendly matches so far. I'm not sure if I got one more friendly match, or if I'm actually against the Philippines now. So, we got a training session, and then we got Austria in an international friendly, so that's a little bit of a big match for Taiwan. I don't think we're going to win it, and I think it might ruin my form, but we'll try our best anyway. So I think for the Austria match for training, we definitely should be upgrading our defence, our tackling, so that's what we're going to do right now. All we need to do it's just stop these guys from going through. That's one, two, three, four. There we go. We've got all the points there. How did the other players do? They did well as well. So, yeah, brilliant. Quite a long way away for a Taiwan to travel. It's a bit of a random friendly as well. But, I mean, fair enough. If they want to play me, then we can play Austria. We can definitely play. Right then. Friendly against Austria. Very, very tough friendly to have for a half star team. But you never know. We might be able to squeeze a result here. If we get a draw and then we have to play the Philippines afterwards, we might be able to get past the Philippines. But it could also work the opposite way. They could beat us. They could absolutely smash us in this one. And then, obviously, we won't have form. And then the Philippines will beat us. And then the whole qualifying run is over. The important thing here is to, I guess, frustrate Austria. Not give them the ball. Be super defensive in this game. Maybe go for the counter-attack. This could be a chance. And it goes out for a corner. So we got a first corner against Austria. Okay, right. Might be able to score this if we get lucky. No, of course not. They definitely got bigger and taller players than us. Looking for that gap, and I think we found it. Here we go. Oh, well, that was our first shot, and I didn't expect to score from that angle, but 
it's improvement. If we're getting past Austria's defence, even if it is a friendly, it's massive improvement. All right, Austria pressing on the attack. They go for the cross, and that was close. Crossed in by Austria. Good save by the keeper. Come on, get in front of it. Oh, off the bar. Very lucky from Taiwan to survive that attack. We're approaching half time and we're still locked at nil nil. My passing's been better than Austria's and um, I'm really pleased with this performance so far. Even though we haven't really tested Austria too much apart from the first shot we had in the, like, the first few minutes of the game, we've been alright. Oh wow, okay, here we go. This is an opportunity. Oh my goodness, why did I not short shoot earlier? Sorry, and that was a golden opportunity to go 1 0 up before half time. Okay, and now Ovic is coming on. Uh, that's not brilliant for us because um, he's a top striker. Austria doing all they can to try and win this game. It's his 71st minute. And they're still locked at 0-0 against Taiwan. This result in real life would probably be pretty embarrassing for Austria. Shot! Oh, they scored from outside the box. And it's Christian Fuchs with the goal. Oh, my God. We did so well up until that point, And there was nothing I could do about that. The big defender just scores an outrageous goal. Literally, like, that was a centre-back scoring that. Like, you couldn't really do anything about it, and it's 1-0 to Austria. We've done really well here, despite losing the match. I feel like we've done extremely well against a bigger side like Austria. To only lose 1-0 against, like, a European team like Austria is brilliant. Especially when they're rated, like, four stars or whatever they are. Well, we lost, but I'm really happy with that result. Austria can celebrate all they want. They only won 1-0, and um, to be honest, they're going to get ripped apart by um, their press because only winning 1-0 against uh, Taiwan is not good enough for them. But for me, on the other hand, we shouldn't be beating ourselves up too much about that. That was a really, really good performance, and it only came down to a Christian Fuchs goal from about 25 yards out and there was nothing I could do about it really so yeah we've done really well right we're just going to do a dribbling drill just before we go for our big world cup qualifier match against the Philippines so let's see what we can do here on this dribbling one just uh, be careful not to knock over the, the bottles on top of the sticks look at this that's class that's absolutely class and we hit the bar but it's okay, we've got another chance and we get the... That was a really good strike. I mean, off the bar and then we got the maximum amount of points. Here we go then, our big World Cup qualifying match. Round one is against the Philippines. And um, these two sides, I'd say... Well, I think the Philippines are rated, a, like, well, one star on this game. So it's going to be interesting. I like this stadium. I've never seen this stadium before in this game. Um, unless there's just a different backdrop or a different vista to it. So the main threat for the Philippines is going to be, um, obviously, Young Husband. Uh, he's quite a famous player over there. And uh, Schrock as well. He, he played in the Bundesliga at one point. Already, Young Husband pushing. Don't know what's happened to our defence. Good. Oh, wow, really? They just scored immediately. And Young Husband proves my point and he scores. I'm not sure which one is the better of the two. I know they're brothers or whatever, but um, I know there's like two of them or whatever like over there. And um, they scored. So, yeah, third minute in and we're 1-0 down against the Philippines. Great. Maybe in the friendlies it was more of a relaxed vibe. That's why I was winning and drawing games. Seriously, all this training should make the squad a lot better on the ball. Like, seriously, like, it should have made us a lot better. And it has made us better. I'm not denying that. But to go 1-0 down against the Philippines in the third minute is a little bit shocking. Like, they just constantly tackled me. They're better than what Austria are playing. Like, when Austria played me, they were very lazy and they didn't really sort of, like, capitalise on their chances. The Philippines here are just all over me. And that's not needed at all, like, getting in front of a pass like that. Well, I mean, this half has been shocking from Taiwan. Like, really, really has been so shocking. Like, to concede a goal that early and then just not really put up a fight away from home, this is not good. Cross it in, cross it in. At that post, oh my god, how are you missing that? Diving header and it's cleared off the line. Ah. Oh. 
The Philippines were up against the ropes there. Keep going. Oh, my goodness. Like, they always get back and tackle you. And there's no options available for you to help. They've kind of slowed down the Philippines now. They've kind of, like, stopped trying to attack me properly. And, um really sort of like defend, although, oh, that was close, that could have been the curse of the commentator, oh, the keeper, what the hell, shot, oh, blocked it again, oh, this has just been an absolute shocking performance from Taiwan, like, we cannot afford to drop this game, really, because you know what the Philippines are going to do when they're at home to us, like, they're just going to sit on the ball and just play for the draw. That's all they're going to do. And then they're going to win 1-0. Crossed in. No. Terrible ball. And we dropped the first leg against the Philippines. That's so irritating. That's really annoying because I feel like we could have beaten them. I feel like we could have. But we just didn't take our chances when they came round. This is a huge match. A very, very huge match for Chinese Taipei or Taiwan. And um, it's against the Philippines again, but we're at home. So hopefully the home advantage will help us. We just can't afford to concede any goals in this match. Otherwise, they'll have the away advantage. That's what I was kind of hoping for when I was at their home, to snatch the away goal and then just take that into the second leg and then maybe just draw or maybe squeeze out a 1-0 victory. Go straight back out to me. So they've given me opportunities at the start, but they're super defensive. I wouldn't really... Um, be surprised to be honest. Look at that, like players bumping into each other. It's a shambles at the moment from Taiwan. It really is. They just they just haven't got anything going at the moment. And there was offside that header. It would have been nice if I got in behind from that, but yeah, this is really, really bad. Now this is not good enough, man. This is not good enough. We're giving away fouls and um it looks like we might be able to well it looks like we're going to go out here, unless we can do something on this play. We've got the ball back now. Come on. Someone support Someone support me. I didn't want to like pass it out to the wing. I want someone to get in the middle of the pitch. That's a good tackle, but we didn't follow it up. Like, what's going on with Taiwan right now? They're not playing the way we were playing in those friendly matches. Oh my god, like the Philippines are just... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, yes! Come on! Come on! We got the goal back, and it's Chang Hang with the goal. That was so lucky, because I was complaining, and the ball was just, like, in the box, and somehow we found our way. The goalkeeper did save it, but uh, thankfully, it deflected into the back of the net, and now we're equal on aggregate. Right, so it's half-time, and we're 1-0 up against the Philippines aggregate. 1-1, one, one. so all we need is one more goal, we can't afford to concede, the way we've been playing is extremely frustrating, although we are 1-0 up, it just feels like there's something on the horizon for the Philippines, even though they've been sat back and defending, and now they're going to have to attack me, and uh, already we're seeing gaps in my defence being exploited, oh, here we go, oh, we got past him there, go on, Go for it. Yes! What a goal! What a goal! And it's that man again. Chang Han with the goal. And we take a 2-1 advantage here. The way I flicked it around that defender, the little flick, and I managed to just shoot. That's what we need. That is what we need from Taiwan. Okay, well, they're pressing now. Defensively, not brilliant. And that's a great save by the defender. Tackling is so annoying on this game. Young husband almost went through. Still, the Taiwan not being able to control the ball. Here comes Schrock. Get in front of him, yes. Oh, thank God for that. Right, the keeper's got it. Here comes another pass. That goal scorer, Chang Han. He goes for the shot again. Saved by Everidge. We've done really well here to get back into this game. And that sets up the second video very nicely indeed. We just beat the Philippines 2-1 on aggregate. And we go through to the next round of the World Cup. All right, so we got through. So who's our next opponent then? Um, we got Myanmar in round two of qualifying. So that will be in the next video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.